How do you create a dissociation curve like this? I used a simple example of water, but you can do it for any kind of molecules that dissociate. Uh, as long as you know the constant, which is called the dissociation or the equilibrium constant for that specific molecule. So what you do is you start in column A and you plot what is going to be on the horizontal axis. I did to do that in these units with these intervals, etc. So this is usually called the proton access column. The proton access column are these values. Then I calculated here the concentration of protons by using this equation. In the next column, the hydroxyl ion concentrations. I use this equation. And then finally you calculate the pH and you use the negative logarithm on this case based on the proton concentration. Once you have all of that done, you plot it here. You may have to fix certain things like the labels on the axes and stuff like that. Let, let me show you a very simple way of doing this. You just select these columns and rows. Start in the first one, control shift arrow down, control shift arrow to the right, and it includes the entire range. Then you go to insert, and in this case you probably want a XY or a scatter graph. And it did that. It, it doesn't look good yet, but that can be fixed easily. As long as we make sure that the pH, for instance, is on a different axis because it uses different units. So we are going to select that one, right click, format the data series, and we make sure that we do that on the secondary axis. So here is the pH axis now. Then uh, you probably want this axis moved to the left. So you right click on that axis, format the axis, and make the label position not next to the axis, but low in this case. That is to the left, high would be to the right. And it looks better and better by the minute. Closing this one. Uh, because we had selected also the labels here, it automatically puts a legend in there. If it didn't for whatever reason, or you had forgotten to put those labels in here, you can regulate here whether you want the axis shown, yes or no, whether you want axis titles. I'm going to turn them on. A chart title, uh, data labels, you probably don't want to do that. You probably want a legend. And all you have to do now is just fix the labels. You just click on one of the labels and type in the formula bar what table, what label you want there. I'm going to keep it very short. Dissociation. And you do the same for these. You just select it and type in here what you want. Select it. Select it. And we get a, a pretty nice dissociation curve. And it was basically very simple to create it. The main issue, of course, were the equations we had to use here. But I leave that up to you. If you know this kind of subjects, then you know what to do there. Again, as long as you use that constant. I did not use that constant here in the equation. You could have done that. Here I just put to the power of 10 uh, times 10 to the power of minus 14. 